How is life with three children now? Tell us. I feel like the world hasn't heard. I wake up and I yell. Oh my gosh, we re we're back! Oh my yes, God. we are back. How do we look? Mama's wearing heels. Woo! You, you look, look fabulous. I just love the lips. You look amazing. Mm, they are perfect. Naked and deep. So today, Nicole and I are having a Señora's Night Out, and I'm very excited because I don't have to worry about cooking dinner, taking care of anybody. It's just me and my amigas. I'm, I'm excited. Really, I know, me too. Mm -hmm. They look fabulous. Thank you. Let's go check out this party, yeah. yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited because usually I'm home doing senora things with a bun, and today I get to dress up and wear cute little heels. There's a 1967 Bentley S that's supposed to be here. Okay. I love these cars, so let's Ooh, go check let's them out, go. yeah? And it's a great opportunity for us to look at some amazing cars. Culture Cars and Comida is a YouTube show that my friend Nicole and I do, and it's a great opportunity to meet car owners that have really cool stories behind their cars. And one of the main focuses we do is finding female car owners. So it's very nice to see how these mujeres are strong and they drive these amazing cool cars. And definitely stay tuned because we have some amazing cars that we film, some bad mujeres that have these cool as low riders. So stay tuned. Naked MD throws the best party. So if you're ever invited to one of those, better be there because the vibe, the energy, the food, everything was amazing and I can't wait to go back to one of those events. Today we are having a little get together for my Maluli and I always look forward to being around my tias. It's just always a good time, so I'm excited. Okay, you guys, I'm hungry. Anybody? Mm. Okay. This pizza's good. It's my favorite pizza joint. Um, Why not? Antonio's. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna tell you guys a story. On Yelp, there's this guy, okay? So I'm totally catfishing people on Yelp, and I have skinny, skinny pictures of me, so I'm tiny, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there's this guy. <laughs> Every time I Yelp, he leaves, like, stars, and then he'll be, like, great review. The pizza one, she's like... Yeah, and they said that they were understaffed, which I understand. And it's like, no, you didn't understand because you're yelping right now. <laughs> I am a yelper, guys, so anybody wants to... Anybody wants to f*** with me? <laughs> Mama, enséñale su pasaporte a Bibi. Don't get it all greased up. Oh my God. I forgot my grandmother's American now. Yes. Yeah, so my mom, mm -hmm. how you put grease on it? Okay, here. Oh United States of God. America, citizen. <laughs> Maria Lourdes Garcia de Esparza. It's <laughs> a lot of names. Yeah, isn't that so cool? Oh my God. Look at what it says, United States citizen, and she was born in Mexico. I know how much of a big deal this is for her and my entire family, honestly. Like, she was able to raise a family here in the US and like, I think it's so like, just empowering that she was able to do this without like a man in her life. She's just like the definition of a woman, like a bad bitch woman. Like she was able to do this on her own and without anybody. I love this. Congrats, mom. You don't know. She's doing big things this year. And she pretty much made this entire family. She's a queen. She's a Chris Jenner. <laughs> See, mom. Chris Jenner of the family. No, MJ. Ah, see. Hola, wow. MJ. No, MJ is the grandma, and then, you know. Because you oh, want to be Chris yeah. Jenner. <laughs> is she still alive? Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, MJ. You know what? I think it's cute how my Lily's living her best life like now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like traveling and doing all these fun things. That's how at it's her supposed age. to be. Right? Because she like it's like I, that's how it's supposed to be. Like that's to how it's there. supposed to be. Like you retire and then you mm -hmm. travel right. and then you're going to Spain. So this is the age you have to look forward to. Yeah. Oh my god. You look forward to like so many stages of your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I wanna be twenty one. And then I have, and then when I retire. And then like, mm. when you don't have to take care of your kids anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, that's... to take care of themselves. Yeah. So many stages of life, I think that's so cute. I'm like drowning every single day of my life with my kids, too. How is tell life us, with three children now? Tell us. Tell us. I feel like the world hasn't heard. I wake up and I yell. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I have to take Zeke to school at 8 in the morning, so I have to wake all the kids up at 7. 
get him ready, pack Zeke lunch, do things for him, get him in the car by 7.30, 5. I come home, Achilles gets into something, like he gets into the freaking pants in the toilet. I'm so glad that Adonis is super, super, super chill. Yeah. Because if he were a crier and like, needy like Achilles is, I would freaking cry with them, honestly. Oh my gosh, yeah. I had to let go of Lily because I was so, I felt like at some point I was almost like getting mad at her for not coming around. And then I had to realize that I had to let her go and I had to let her become a mom because I didn't understand it at the time we were filming before where she wanted to have a family of her own. And it was very difficult for me to let her go. And so I finally was like, okay, we go be a mom. And I know that mom life is everything for her right now. So sis, um, sister, oh yeah, mama. I always see her as a sister. <laughs> Mamacita, tell us, how's college life treating you? It's good. I uh, definitely am having a different experience uh -huh. than high school. I catch myself talking about you guys in school mm -hmm. almost like every day. I think even today I did an assignment and I was like talking about mm -hmm. being in a Mexican household mm -hmm. and a woman in a Mexican. I literally talk about you guys at school mm -hmm. all the time. They're probably like, damn, this bitch Yeah, <laughs> no, literally. She probably has a big old family. <laughs> No, every single day, it's probably like once or twice I bring you guys up at school. That's, so That's cool. cute. Just because I'm in communication, so oh, it's all, yeah. it has to do with you like my fat, like my relationships yeah. and all that, my outer, and like the only people that I really have like a relationship with are like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like catch myself involving you guys a lot. So, yeah. but then it also makes me happy because I'm like, I enjoy talking about you guys. Mm -hmm. But like, we heard through the grapevine that you're working on a little something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with that, like, and being in school and, like, getting used to typing up all the time, I'm like, you know what, I'm doing this, let me, like, what can I put into my own words and something? And I was thinking of writing, um, like, an ebook. I love it! With this book, I'm able to teach people how to be the baddest, most don't f with me version of themselves. I love when... Obviously, when we all conversate, all our, everybody wants, you know, we all talk over each other. But when my mom talks, it's like we all stay quiet and listen to her because my mom always has the best advice. Yeah, me a mí, porque <laughs> si estoy aquí es solo Dios sabe por qué. Y segundo lugar, que la vida no es fácil, mamacita. Tienes que echarle ganas, tienes que estudiar para ser mejor que todas tus tías y mejor que yo. Y, y, este, y que primero Dios te encuentre su nombre bueno, así como tus tías. Y, pero primero tienes que echarle ganas al estudio y que seas una mujer fuerte y, y segura de ti mismo. Y saber, yo quiero esto y yo lo voy a tener. Porque yo pensé todo eso hasta después de que se murió tu papá mundo. Antes yo no pensaba en eso. Yo no pensaba en el futuro y ahora sí ya lo pienso. Por eso le eché ganas a hacerme pues, ciudadana. I feel like I am living out like my grandma's wildest dreams with her support it gives me like that motivation to like want to keep going and like want to keep you know pursuing these things that maybe she couldn't have done porque tú eres la primera de nuestra generación y yo sé que tú les vas a demostrar a todas las demás niñas que vienen que así oh se God, tienen que hacer las emotional. cosas que así I se tienen so. que hacer yo sé que lo vas a hacer ustedes me ponen un muy buen ejemplo de hacer um una mujer muy fuerte. So without you guys, literally, my life wouldn't be what it is. And I wouldn't have like these goals or aspirations to like be a better woman every single day. So yeah, I appreciate you guys a lot. And I do all of this ultimately for my family, for sure. Well, I say we cheers to my madre for her retirement. Feliz yes. Yes. madre. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you want to watch more episodes.